it's obviously been disappointing. There's nowhere that we can hide as a, as, a, as a club. We came back full of optimism after the winter break, refreshed and ready to, to hopefully continue what was the, a very positive start and halfway point of a season. It hasn't turned out like that. Set it Set it Come on. We hoped that possibly at the weekend there, with the amazing support of the stands, that we would have been able to get a very big result against Hibs which would hopefully have catapulted the season but it hasn't managed to do that and um, we go into a massive game on Saturday which um, isn't going to define the season because we've got another two massive games after that but we've got a final three games that really are massive and, um, and, and we can't get away from the fact that we're still in touching distance of a European spot and um, never mind the top six so I think we need to reflect as we have done as we have been doing on what has been a poor return to, to football but staying realistic and uh, the very strong possibility of finishing in the in the top six and possibly more is, is still within touching distance and, and hopefully we can achieve that in what is three massive games. The squad that's been brought together, there's been a lot of investment in the team. We should be delivering. We understand we've underachieved over the past two months. I held my hands up after the game against Dundee. I make it a very tough ask with a, with a slack bit of play for myself which no matter how many meetings or how many how many training sessions you put on a, a mistake like that is is, is is hard to plan for so you need to look you need to reflect I think that's the, the most important thing is as a squad we reflect and, and as a management staff we, re, we reflect individually first and, and see what we could do better and within that the manager then puts us in the right direction of of what he wants us to do and, and that's ultimately what has to happen. I think what's frustrating is that we have had performances that have merited more but at times we've also had performances that have merited nothing and I think we need to make sure that we we try and strive for the balance of both which is a good performance and a good result but equally at this stage in the season the, the only thing that does matter is the results and, um, and we need to get a three points quickly. You get the the abuse, look, it's, it's, it's merited at times. The fans get the right to, to voice their opinion, so there's, there's no getting away from that as players. And we need to step up to it and we need to, to answer the questions that they're asking. There's a mix in this squad of foreign players, young players, older players, that, that it can affect everyone differently. And, and I think certainly what we can't allow the negativity, if it comes from the stand, to do is affect our, our belief in our ability and, and getting on the ball and demanding it. But equally, it's, it's a... It's a catch-22. We need to give something for the fans to get behind. and There's nothing more simple than getting a win that can galvanise it. Look, it was, it was brilliant. I think when you turn up and you see that many fans coming down to cheer you on in a session, it shouldn't need to, but it should make everyone realise how much this club means to, to people. It's a community club. And for us to drive that message, we need to be together as a unit, as a community. Really appreciate your support, mate. Honestly, it means a lot. Looking good to see. We're going to finish right now in about in about two minutes. And I'll send them across on a little jog and give, give you a little clap for coming, all right? Appreciate that, mate. Tell everyone and said thank you, okay? Hopefully we can galvanise that spirit that was shown in the Saturday training session and in the by the fans were outstanding on Sunday as well was what the second biggest attendance of the season for, for a cup game that you need to pay for I think they understood it was a, a difficult ask for us whenever we went down to 10 men but they were brilliant then and, and we just asked for that support to give us it for the next three games and we need to give them something to be to be cheerful about and we hoped that going to Hamden would have, would have brought that sadly that didn't happen but I think the top six and, and, and fighting for a European place can do that and, and, and that's going to be everybody at this club's aim. We can make this season a very good one and not just let it uh, whittle away. It's always exciting. I think it's the right word to you. I mean, there should be a lot of quality, but it's going to be really fascinating watching these games. It is, and that's why I really enjoy the structure of the league at the moment. You know, with the top six, it is so tightly packed in there. There'd be so many teams playing for nothing, but with the top six at stake, it keeps everything interesting. To be one point off fourth place at this stage in the season, I think... Every player and every fan would have went, that's a good season. But just the way it's materialised with everyone else being so close, it's it's been a been a strange season and, and, and one that has had this spell of 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 disappointment, I think would be the best way to put it. But um, as I said, being one point behind fourth, um, we've got every opportunity to, to make amends for that over the next three games. And, and, and I think we're capable of doing it. 
and certainly we, uh, we are working hard to do so. Hey mate, well, go and grab your flag. Ha ha, have we got one in here? We don't have that. Yep. Hey. Not playing for you over the coast there, Arnold. What way does it go? Green, white, orange. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just getting some pictures and some content for international call ups with the boys that receive a call up for the countries. Oh, he's picked it on one. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of boys have done that. See, yeah. white and blue. Like so we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple with the flag. It's just a nice touch to show that obviously Motherwell have got a few international players. Wow. Similar to last time, mate, so we'll go. What, wrap right around, mate? Um, we'll do a couple, we'll do a couple of variations. Well, we might be playing against Ukraine at Hamden um, in a big playoff match, but uh, unfortunately, with the situation that's going on in the world at the moment, that match can't take place. So we are playing against Poland at Hamden, a friendly, and then we're playing against the losing team um, of the other playoff match uh, between Wales and Austria. Ha ha ha, tell you what. <laughs> this camp we've only got one game, so yeah, looking forward to Sweden. But if we win, we should have a good good chance of um, qualifying for the Euro. I think we'll be the first on the 21s Ireland team to ever qualify. It's a bit of history there, so we're going in all guns blazing. We're playing the tournament in Uzbekistan. Well, um, a couple of friendlies in preparation for the next AFCON. I think it's vital, um, especially for obviously the players coming from different countries, different um, clubs, for the manager and the coach to implement his style of play. Um, it's a new experience for myself and um, just to have a different experience within football is important. Hey, Max. Let's have a look. Hey, so, hey, is that what you are? That's what you're doing, actually. I'm going away with Scotland under-19s and we're playing in the elite rounds of the Euro 2022 and we're playing against Turkey, Hungary and Israel. We're away for 10 days, we play three games and we need to win our group to qualify. I don't know what to wait, that's perfect. That's perfect. There we go. Yep. Oh, hi. Perfect, mate. Two friendly matches against Luxembourg and Hungary. I don't know whether they'll experiment a bit, hopefully it might get some um, game time to, yeah, to look forward to the, the Four Nations League games coming up in the summer. Okay. And then right shoulder forward. I think hopefully a squad, I, I would love it if I managed to make my 25th cap, which would be a, a special milestone for myself, but um, but no, just uh, delighted to be called up again and, and looking forward to hopefully represent my country. So right, I can do it. Left, left, left shoulder forward, mate, left shoulder forward. Left shoulder forward, right, but just stand like that. Yeah, nose high, no quite high. I'm absolutely delighted to be selected for this camp. The standard goalkeeper in the country is really good, so um, the fact that we've been picked is, is a great feeling. Obviously, there are big games in preparation for what can um, be happening in June, so yeah, I'm really pleased to be involved and hopefully I can have a, a positive contribution to the group. I enjoy it a lot, to be fair. Um, just going back to Uganda, back to the motherland, and obviously representing my country, which is an amazing achievement to do. Of course, I missed a few games during the COVID period, but I'm glad that everything's gone back to normal. I don't really want to drape it around you because this was an England flag. Yeah, that's perfect, mate. That's a good show, actually. Massive honour. Uh, it was always nice getting called up. Obviously, I haven't missed out on a few of the injury and haven't been in the last few squads, so it's nice to nice to be back in again. Hopefully, try and get another or cap two under the belt, and yeah, hopefully, keep myself in it. You look lovely. Uh, do, the, do the same with opposite shoulder. That's a lovely smile, isn't it? Do you like my haircut? Do you like my haircut? That's decent, mate. Definitely it's a huge honour, of course. It's my first time away with under 19, so I want to go and press, go do well, and hopefully that will help me in the future. Always an honour to represent your country and, and not just represent myself, I'm representing everyone in Ireland and my family, and then obviously I'm representing my club here in Motherwell. Perfect. Perfect sword. You go away to club football for most of the season, but when you come into international football, it's important you, you use the time wisely and, and get the team together for what will be. Hopefully two massive games in, in June, I think. Um, so no, looking forward to a very important camp that we, we try and keep momentum going and the, more importantly build towards the, the, the qualifiers, which are no doubtedly the, the highlight of the calendar. Maybe I think that's you, let's have a flick through. Can I take this home with me? Love it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. Perfect. That's you sorted. Thank you. Who else do you need? Others. Yeah, 
<laughs> Perfect. I joined Queen South in September. Obviously, I was just looking to get games under my belt, professional games, so I was fortunate enough to be able to come to Queen South in the Championship. It's been quite inconsistent this year. We've had some really good games, but unfortunately, we're down the bottom just now, but we're hoping to pick up some points as we're still, still in it to try and stay up. I had a positive conversation with the gaffer at the very end of January. He thought it would be good if I was to go out and get some game time, so Queen is out was the perfect opportunity. It's good just playing games again, week in, week out. Obviously, got to try keep my place in the team, so now I'm enjoying it. Obviously the first six months of Motherwell didn't go to plan for myself, not playing as much games as I wanted to. So here now it's just literally knuckling down, playing games and, and training hard. I was playing amateur back home. I had 20 games on my belt over seven, eight month period before I moved to Leicester. But the level of football that I'm playing now is a lot more competitive and a lot more demanding than back home. So my body's just adjusting to it now and, and hopefully I can stay injury free till the end of the season. It's been really valuable for me. I feel as if I've came on a lot since I joined first in September. It's been really good it's the experience that I needed. Making mistakes, I think you need to make them to learn from them. I think, obviously, the experience throughout the games, I'm not going to learn without actually being in that situation, so that's really helped me. What I'm looking to get out of this long move is, is literally just get games on my belt, get experience, and, and hopefully then it'll better myself further on in my career. And if I make mistakes now, I can learn from them, so that when I'm 24, 25, when I'm a more mature player, that I won't be making silly little mistakes anymore. You see where Max is, you see where, so that's, so that's our left wing back, yeah, that's our right wing back, yeah, and then us oh, the back three, yeah, and like, so, we're like, Max, yeah. Max does his job, follows the man, but yeah. obviously, Motherwell have been very good to me every week, and I'm in there doing clips, and with the assistant manager, and and he's been very helpful to me. He's he's clipped up every single game and, and the two of us go through it and he picks out the improvements and then the positives of the previous game. We have a conversation then and I'm, I'm we're able then to work on the little things that went wrong and build on it then for the next game. Can you keep going his left if possible? Since Dad has joined, I've started going in and doing analysis with Chris and I'm starting to do gym sessions as well. Obviously I'm enjoying being back in at Motherwell, still seeing the boys and stuff, so no, it's good. We're still Motherwell players at the end of the day and they want to make sure that we're doing everything right and we're setting the standards of Motherwell players even out on loan. At my age just now, I'm just looking to get games under my belt, as many first team appearances as possible. And then hopefully next year that will help me when I go back to Motherwell. Obviously I've still got a year left in my contract, so go back hopefully with a bit more experience under my belt, I'll be able to push for a first team swap. My contract's up at the end of the season. When I was at Leicester last year, I had it on my mind that I needed to get a new contract or I needed to get it sorted straight away, whereas now I'm just making sure that I, I do good for Queen's and, and the contract then will take care of itself. Hopefully it'll be at Motherwell, whether if it's at Motherwell or not, only time will tell. We have a cup final to look forward to. We're playing Ray Rovers in the Trust Trophy final. I've never actually won a trophy. I was in a cup final a few years ago when I was at Shamrock Rovers, and unfortunately we lost to Rossi's team, um, which wasn't great. But yeah, I've never, I've never been fortunate enough to win a, a trophy, and hopefully that will change. I think it's a good thing to have. A lot of footballers don't get to a cup final or win a cup in their career, so if I could do that, it'd be brilliant. If someone had said to me at the very start of January we'd get to a cup final and stay up, it'd be a successful season. So we want to look to, to finish off the season very strongly, hopefully with a cup win and, and stay up in the championship.